Uh oh. Mudslide. That's what the road works for. The road's been completely trashed. Everyone's going for their test tomorrow. Drive the opposite to Squirrel. Lol. Uh, Mr. Doll has indeed been on. I don't mind a driving test, but some people have got a computer science test tomorrow. This is much nicer. No traffic. Gonna do some chores, BC Kelly. Have a good one. sharper than I thought. <laughs> uh, pictures from Truck Fest I mostly put on my Instagram anyway. I don't know, Connor, I don't know if it's an A-level or not. There was a couple of people basically saying um, they had computer science tomorrow. Uh, or G, is that how we say your name? Thank you, sir. It was clinging onto your seat. Uh, Heathrow video will be out this week, Funky Monkey. Some of your GCSE friends have computer science tests tomorrow, Pon. Right, so it's a GCSE, then it's not an A level. I didn't even know they taught that at GCSE. Condiment Services, thank you for 11 months of salt and pepper. CMC Airboss, they say 40 is the new 40, I'm not so sure. 40 is double top, just remember it. It'll do you well in darts. No, I didn't. Well, actually, you know, yes, Connor, I did meet one person from the Heathrow TV show. Uh, he's one of the drivers. He, he got um, filmed twice during the TV series, so I met him. Where did that bend come from? When's the TV series on, Heapster? It's been on. They've, they've had two episodes out already. Comes out every Wednesday on ITV. There's four more left. What's the XP command RW? I've never seen that. Yeah, Connor, they, they changed the format to six 30 minute episodes.
met the photographer and the reports from the original Heathrow series 20 years ago, if you remember them. I don't, I don't remember them. Computer science and RSGCSE is tomorrow, and French listening and reading are on Friday. Don't tell me there's been a Windows 95 command all this time. <laughs> What does the XP command do then? Because I've never seen it. Hey, Raya, how you doing? With the SP command checked your hours in chat, it works a lot of Twitch channels. News to me, for, uh, RW. I've been doing Twitch for I don't know how many years and I've never heard of that command. Was that maybe from one of the bots, like Moobot or something? Nightbot maybe? enough coaches on this road. This twist still sucked, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I've never heard of that command. Sounds pretty pointless fun. Some people have some weird things in their chat though. They like they run run all these weird games and stuff, you know. Doesn't appeal to me. Like you see these things where you can um like the people in the chat can challenge each other to like fights and stuff and then other people can bet on it. You're like, what the heck? Like why? Why would you want that? Back to twisty roads. a guy on train sim betting what medal he will get. Wow. What, we don't have a squirrel nut a fighting betting pool here? <laughs> Lol. No, we don't love a tube. <laughs> it's uh, Joker. Good night. People will probably want that if the stream isn't interesting to watch. I think so, fun. But I can't think that... I don't know. If you're a streamer and you're not interesting to watch, then it's, it's unlikely you're going to succeed as a streamer anyway. And certainly having this thing that allows people to have duels with each other in chat is not really going to keep people there very long because they're going to get bored with that, aren't they? So again, it just seems entirely pointless.
We can bet if you finish your job without damage. I know um, people like Quirk and stuff, they run one of the... What, there's an iRacing app that you can get, and it allows betting and stuff. And so you can bet on whether they're going to win, whether they're going to finish in the top five, whether they're going to crash and not finish, and then you, it accumulates points and stuff. And it's just for fun. They have like a little leaderboard in there and stuff. It's just, again, it's just for fun. So I know that Quirk uses it. I think it resets its points every month or something. You have dishonored Squirrel's honor. I challenge you to a duel. I don't think, um, I mean, having a friendly bet on a race like that, that's, that's fun, I get that, but, like, the whole dueling thing, I don't think you want to encourage chat to just duel each other, it's going to lead to tears, ultimately. Exactly, Nuke. Just like weird minigames. Yeah, Bigfoot, I mean, if they're going to... If they're going to do that, like have a little competition where they can win money at the end of it. Um, it's like, it's making it, it's moving it up from fun to making it to something slightly more serious, but I can get that. As long as there's no pay to enter, because then it becomes a gambling at that point. I wonder how much fuel we've got, you know. Getting low again. The game time is 23.16. We're due in in about 8 hours time. And that makes us pretty much bang on time. Well, that's true, Poyle, but I wasn't talking about, you know, my stream or this game. I mean, I've seen streamers do that. But the chat can become a mess very quickly. That's the thing I did notice. If you've got all this kind of dueling and betting going on, then whenever somebody wants to actually say something, you know, like ask a streamer a question or say something, they don't, they say it and then it just disappears because of all this gambling and dueling and nonsense that's happening. People running commands and the bot responding. And the chat just becomes a massive mess. And what happens is, the people who actually just want to engage with the streamer stop doing that because they can't engage with the streamer anymore because of all this mess in chat. And that's why I would never want that. So on YouTube for years, would love to drive you some time. Um, realistically, I captain London because I don't play the MP in public servers. The only way that can happen is on one of my sub sessions, which unfortunately is sub only. Thank you, Connor. Yeah, exactly. It wrecks the cohesion of the community. You can't create a community when you've got bot spam and chat spam and command spam. You can't have a community then. Do you only play simulation games, Brandon? No. Last night was... Well, yesterday I played Flight Sim in the afternoon, which is obviously a sim game, and then Stranded Deep in the evening, which is a survival game. Last week I was playing Frostpunk, which is um, like a survival management game. So I don't always play sim games. I mostly play sim games, but I do break out into other, like just fun stuff. Because sim games tend to be, mostly you have to concentrate on them a lot. So sometimes I just want to chill and play something relaxing, like, I don't know, Skylines or City Skylines or Stranded Deep or any of those games. They're just chillax. 
I was playing House Flipper on Friday, I think. Which was a bizarre game. <laughs> Where we end up painting walls and stuff. Tiling people's houses. <laughs> Which, you know, to be honest though, with House Flipper, you could kind of make the argument that it is a sim. Because it is something that you do in real life, and it simulates that. That aspect of it. So you could argue that that's a sim. People run businesses doing that. Yeah, vacuuming cockroaches. Good times. The only thing that annoyed me about House Flipper was the fact that I still didn't get to buy a house. Because of like the four million jobs that you have to do. Come on. Why does it always look like there are trees in the road? <laughs> because the map mod is a bit untested. Alright, let me just quickly look in the map and see where the next fuel stop is. Uh, okay, it's in Pasto. Could be a problem. Picking up speed. Yeah, the broken browser that never loads. They've definitely got some bugs to fix. You can buy houses from the start, you could this afternoon. How? How can you buy a house from the start? I've tried... I've tried to buy a house, you saw me do it. There's no option to buy a house. And even, I think Baz said he watched another streamer, and they had to finish all the jobs before they could buy a house. So how did you do that? How much longer are you going to plan on stream and studying for a calculus test and you're boosting my productivity? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> you can buy houses in House Flipper, it just takes an awful lot of grinding. Right, so you can do it, WH, but it is grinding all those jobs first. Right, okay. So I wasn't going crazy then. That reminds me of that gold mining game I played. That's grind heavy as well. Work better with the stream in the background, Old Phillips. Interesting. I think it, for me, it depends what kind of stream it is. Some streams I find distracting in the sense that I can watch them, but I couldn't work to them. Other streams I can be doing something and have it on in the background, but some streams just, they just keep distracting me to look all the time. Yeah, Gold Rush, that was it. I think I think Northern Alex played Gold Rush quite a bit. I'm not sure if Jeff did. Clicked on the browser and clicked on one of the houses and let me buy it so I don't know. I did four jobs and then I had more email no more emails. I don't get that, Squizz and Utter. I mean I I streamed it and there was nothing in the browser for me to buy. Whoa. There was nothing in the browser for me to buy, and um, I just did so many jobs. But the number of emails is going down now. I've only got about four left. Oh yeah, I can't, yeah, like if I need to really concentrate, like say I'm studying, for an exam or anything like that, I need to concentrate. I can't have anything on them. I think we're going to run out of 
fuel. On our 57 k's left, we might make it. It depends how hilly it is. Come on, why are you only doing 15 up here? Oh my god, seriously. This guy's struggling more than I am. If I if we stop here, I'm I won't be able to hill start this. Not with this first gear. He's carrying a trailer full of lead. Yeah, you can turn off traffic. I, did, I had to do that before. I couldn't get out the yard. Question, uh, I have an older transmission in your dad's six-speed truck. Even if I give it gas and slow release the clutch, I can stall. Can you help? That sounds like the gear ratios to me. I mean, essentially, all the gearbox does is change the ratio between the engine and the wheels. That's all it does. So if, you're, if you select a certain gear and you're bringing the clutch up and the engine stalls, it means you're in too high a gear. That's all it means. You need a lower gear. And if you're in the lowest gear possible... What the heck is this thing doing? If you're in the lowest gear possible, then it means that your gear ratio is wrong, or the engine just doesn't have enough power for what you're trying to haul. How much is a CPL? Uh, it's a lot more costa, because with a CPL, if you mean a commercial pilot's license, you've got to get your PPL first, and then you need to do enough hours um, on all the training, and you need to get a class one medical instead of a two. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot more costly, mostly because of the flying hours you'll have to do to get it. Ask Jack Sims. As if. A good gaming wheel for what, Dave? What? A wheel for what? Racing? Trucking? Car? What? Bobster, how are you doing? Rip a doodle do. Twenty two kilometers from the end. Is there a command for fuel level? Fuel simulation one. What if I put that on zero? What happens? I guess not. Is there a command for fuel level? G underscore set. No. I mean, realistic fuel consumption, if you turn it off, you still need fuel, so, you know. <laughs> that doesn't help, does it? 
There must be a setting for this. S underscore interior volume sound effects wheel noise T underscore average window length C underscore what's this then is there a fuel nope there must be something I'm convinced there's going to be a setting for this Fuel simulation set. I can't believe nobody in chat knows the answer to this. I underscore virtual cursor speed. What on earth are these settings? J, K, L. The things I'll do not to get recovered. <laughs> N. O. P. E. P underscore bullet draw. Hang on, let me turn this on. Bullet draw is zero. Default is zero. I didn't know this game had bullets. Apparently you can draw them though. Q. R. Oh, hang on, what's this? R underscore full screen fake shadows S underscore air noise interior T U V for vehicle maybe? No. I don't know. Can't find anything. I would have thought you you could just change that with a setting. I'm surprised. It will cost 768 euros and the trip will take an hour and a half longer. Go on then. I mean, like all the vehicle settings should be available to change. Uh, what's going on? I've literally got like two FPS. There we go. No. This thing is like freaking out, look. I think this town is bugged. Can you see it? Just frame jumping. Look. There's something in this town. Now I turn the bullet points back off. Look at that. What's going on? I didn't like every setting I changed, I turned back off again. I reckon there's something wrong with this city. Okay, we need to drop this thing off and get out of this city. Seems alright now. How very strange. Still doing it. I wouldn't surprise me if this city had some like broken polygons and buildings and every time it tries to render it, it goes <gasps> and then gives up. We need to get out of this town. I think it's broken. Wow. No, I turned the bullets off. Uh oh, 
Is this it? Perfect. That's exactly the right place to stop drawing frames, it's just as you're in mid-turn. Well, I am blaming the City Arc of Truth because I got here and it suddenly started behaving weird, whereas it hasn't done it anywhere outside the city. What explanation is there? You can set inst flags eight temporarily to remove most of the seemingly objects to revert inst flag zero. Well, I'm going to teleport out of here anyway. Forty grand of five hundred XP taken. That was mostly caused when we went to that weird bridge. Yeah, I'm not driving back up there again. <laughs> That's not happening. Let's go to. Um to the go back to maybe Armenia and see if we can get a job through here. If not, we'll go over here and get a job through the... Actually, I might do that anyway. Let's go to Bogota and see if we can get a job this way. Looks like lag. It's not lag. It'll go away in a minute, you watch. Uh, underground Spirit, welcome to the net house. Can we give Underground a nutty welcome? And thank you, Motley, for gifting that sub. Very kind of you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, let's go to Bogota. Um, Toby, what am I cheating? What am I doing, mate? Bogota. Um, let's go over here. Snake below, welcome back. Let's see if we can get a job going east. Happy anniversary. Nope. Later. That one goes east from there, Margarine. Bit of a slippery trailer, but it's probably the best one we've got. Uh, Villa Vincenzo. You missed the most crazy roads. Yeah, I know, but what can I do? Well, we could get a job going west, I guess. Was there a job going west? Hang on. Maybe take that one. Or that one. Post packages into Fusa. So that would take us from here to here. See, that run there is just completely self contained. Look at it. We could go to Iconoza and see if you can get a job coming back that way.
You know when she approaching to EGBB because she's watching Sunday Night Trucking? Lel. Let me go and have a look if there's a job over here. We'll have to go and visit it first. Nope. Nothing. No jobs at all. Second. We'll have to go from here and take that one. Go back to Villa and we'll head west. No straight roads on this map, that's very true. Matty, have a good one. Are oh, you going to come back later? Right. Uh, wait, where does he want us to go? I couldn't stop in time. <laughs> Jap Japsim, somebody was asking her how much does a CPL cost? What would you say to that? Because I've not looked into the cost of a CPL, but you would know. Except we don't have that leg now, we're out of that city. Good night, Red Devil. Post packages. Let's have a look at the skin. Schwartzmuller. I think this will look quite nice on that red truck. CPL probably around 60 grand average, but anywhere between 50 and 130. It's a whole lot of Wonga. Yeah, right, Baz. A double trailer on this. Just no. The only problem with this truck is you can't actually pick up any trailers. Which is a bit of um bit of a problem, <laughs> to say the least. PPL used to be cheap doing it in Florida, then converting to PPL in the UK, Crusher. But that wouldn't that involve having to go and fly and live in Florida for a while, which would then up the price. Or am I missing something?
Thanks. Really? <laughs> I really don't want to let you out. This is like driving in London. And then when you do pull out, they're like... <laughs> The flights, accommodation, etc. included. Blimey. That must be a heck of a price difference. I know when Cat Straighter did his, it wasn't that much cheaper than what I would be paying for mine. So, I don't know if that's still true or not, unless Florida's very cheap. Uh, Dan, I don't know, we usually finish within the hour sometime now. Yeah, I think I think the map was definitely put together by different people. I honestly don't think this is one person's job. I think different people added on different sections and the quality varies enormously. That's just the testing. But there's got to be somebody responsible for the project and they need to make sure that there are testers making sure that the standards are maintained. The standards are all over the place. What do I think about mapping closing? Well, Maplin have been ripping people off for decades, so I'm really not that sorry to see them go. I try my very best never to buy from them because they're so expensive. They will charge you £20 for a HDMI cable that you can get for four at Amazon. And I think they've shut down because they used to specialise in selling electronic components to people who like building electronic kits. And I think that market's kind of diminished over time. And then Amazon obviously have made it so people can get stuff cheaply next day, so Maplin's just doomed. Uh, have yes, Sunday evening. It's always Sunday night trucking. Let's not tell you I work there then, Ark. Well, it doesn't matter if you work there or not, there's still a company that sells things for too much money. I'm sorry that you're going to lose your job, you know, but ultimately, as a company, they were charging way too much money for products, and you probably know that. You couldn't fault the customer service. I mean, I've been there a couple of times, and they were, they tell you were, <clears throat> you'd say, have you got one of these, and they'll tell you. Low to building hype. But, like I say, the prices are just far too high. If you're not competitive, you, you're not going to stay in business. It's that simple. Look at the crack in the scenery and everything. Just so much kind of... No, HMV are not still going. HMV closed down. Somebody bought their name and used it. I remember it happening. Some of their stores got, got bought by Virgin at one point, and I think they've they probably sold them later down the line. But HMV went into administration many years ago. Well, Jack Sims, it, oh, it, it's because it had a different owner, that's why. But the original HMV shut down, and then it got bits got sold off. Well, the thing is, Ryder, with Curry's PC World, it's not. You know, you can you can go to their website, and their prices are fairly competitive, and you can order online and collect later. But if you go in the store, 
the, prob the prices are probably higher if you buy in the store, but if you go onto the website and order it and then collect it, they still sell, like the G29, they'll still sell that cheaper than pretty much anyone in the country when they have their deal on for £150. I've never seen it cheaper. Brand new. What on earth is that? That looks like a Skylines road. That really does look like it came out of Skylines. Tesco? <gasps> What's going on here then? Having a little sleep? The No Pillars mod. Lol. Oh, tunnel. Is it Courage PC World? Uh, five inks for the Epson printer, the ones in £95. Yeah. Uh, inkjet consumables are a known rip off point. Mustang. Like people like um, HP. They do like a subscription thing that you can do where you pay so many pounds a month and then they send you cartridges when your printer's empty. Like if you want to fix your costs on an inkjet printer, you can take that kind of option. But I remember having a I had a brother laser printer, right? A color laser printer from brother, and I got. I got the printer, it cost me £300 for the printer, but they had a £50 cashback deal. So I bought the printer, got my £50 cashback, so the printer cost me £250, and it had four toner cartridges inside of it, I seem to remember. It had, or is it five? It might be five. And like CMYK and black, I think it was. And the printer just, you know, printed for absolutely ages, like ridiculous amounts of time I can't even remember how long and then one day one of the toner cartridges emptied and I went online and each toner cartridge was £70 and I needed five of them which was 350 quid. so I looked online and the printer was still for sale brand new for 300 quid with a £50 cashback so I could refill this thing for £350 or I could buy a brand new printer which came with the cartridges for £250. And at that point you're like, this just makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> you are now encouraging me to throw my perfectly good printer away because you're charging me so much for toner. Genuinely eye-opener that was.